Hello everyone, hope you are all doing well. Thank you so much for watching my videos. This is the part 4 of the series of videos where we are talking about actual call to a seafarer or a candidate you are recruiting. Okay? In this video, we will see the presentation stage. Okay? That is how do you give the information about your requirement to the seafarer. Okay? Let's jump into the video. Okay, till now we have seen these topics, introduction, preparation for the call, opening of the call, information stage. Introduction, we saw what are the important points you need to take care, preparation of the call, what you need to do before you start the call. We also saw a video where it was, the gap was very very small between recruiting of the seafarer or the candidate to actually making the call. And how do you open the call? What are the things you need to start? You need to directly not jump and you have to talk about something about which is not related to shipping and then break the ice and then bring it to the call. Information stage where we spoke about what all the information you need to first get from the officer rating or the candidate. You have to first in gather all the information which is required for you. Then once you have all the information, then you go for the present stage. Okay, so let's go to the presentation stage in this video. This is the presentation stage where we will talk about how you need to give the information to the candidate you are talking to. At this stage, you already have all the information about the seafarer, what is he required and by now you almost are sure whether he will be fit for your requirement or no. So you will continue with the seafarer only if you feel the seafarer will be okay for your position because un until now you have got so much information that you will already know whether he will be available for the type of the vessel or at the type at the time when you require him. Okay, both the things you will know whether he is when he is ready to join and whether he is ready to join for the type of vessel you are looking for and whether he is fit to join such a vessel which you are looking for. If you feel all these criteria are met and he is a potential candidate where he will be able to join the vessel or join the company, then go ahead with this. We are presently looking for a rank for a size and vessel type which is additional info like gearless main engine. So this is the general info what I have given but for example I will tell you we are presently looking for a master for a Suez Max tanker which is trading between Persian Gulf and India we have Indian seafarers on board, etc, etc. This is how you give the information to him. You are very clear, concise in what kind of ship, what size and any other specific detail which you want to give about the vessel to him. If you are calling from a third party manager, you will also need to give him the information on the owners. Who are the owners? Okay, He, he might ask you, you know, okay, this is managed by you, but who are the owners of this vessel? You need to give the owners and number of vessels they have with you and the owners are based out of etc etc what are information you have so that is the reason before making the call you need to have all this information with you in your fingertips or you have to at least write it down somewhere because if the seafarer asks you this question who are the owners and if you don't have this answer then he might feel that he, you are just a call center girl or boy and you don't know about the ship or the company. Okay, So these are also or the information which is required to be provided to the seafarer. Okay, He might ask you any question under the earth for the vessel or the owners. So you should be ready to give the information. Next is always the salary question. You know, it is always the most difficult part handling the salary question. You might be at a lower rent and you would have been just told boss you find out a master or a chief in your any other rank and you get proper series. But invariably all the officers are ask you the salary question. So how do you answer it? If you know the range you can tell them based on his rank experience. So you might have a weight scale with you you know and you might be able to tell this is the vessel type and uh, between this and this will be your range but the final decision will be taken by the management. If you don't know, ask him his last drawn wages and expected. 
then the donors would revert with the approved figures which would be conveyed okay so basically what if you don't know the answer you don't know what to offer him you know you have not been told what to offer then you politely ask him sir what was your last drawn wages and what are your expectation this is a standard question for any salary related uh, uh, question you know uh, so you can tell him that uh, owners will revert with the seeing the cv we will propose to the owners and owners will revert with the salary so you can always put it to the owners you know or the management you can you can you can talk about some vague entity like management owners because these are all vague it is not specific you know so you can use any vague entity and tell them that uh, Uh, they will decide the wages and we will get back to you on that okay so this is the very short and sweet how you are going to present your information to the seafarer or the candidate basically you need to give him all the information this is the very critical part as soon as you give the all the information you will be bombarded with questions which are not mentioned in this slide okay so you have to be ready with all the answers and be sure you are able to give any answer or any question any answer which he is asking for and if you don't have politely tell him that i don't know and i will get it for you soon and you get it for him that is very very important okay the follow up with the candidate is the most important that shows he is important to you okay if you if you tell him okay sir i will get it to you tomorrow and you don't give him it it shows that you are he is not important for you okay it is possible that if you don't have that information by tomorrow also but tomorrow you give him a call and tell him sir i have still not been able to find the answer i will let you know how uh, maybe one or two days later okay so that is very very important so in short you give him all the answers to the questions during the presentation stage because that is very very important and tackle the salary question very very effectively he does not get offended by how you answer okay next is the closing how do you close the call okay this is this is a very standard thing that thank you so much sir we are uh, uh, thank you you took your time etc etc that's how the closing will be let's go point by point always ask for his updated cv it is possible that you might have a old cv okay so most of the time you will have a cv which is one ship earlier or you can always check with him if this is the latest cv what you have maybe you can tell the last vessel's name which you have on the cv and ask him if this is the last vessel then you will know if you have a updated cv or no based on the information you have gathered inform him that we shall propose him once we have his updated cv we will be in touch at a specific later date etc okay so ensure you always give him a specific date and time when you will call him don't give him sir we will do one or two days or three days next call when it will be you have to tell him that is very very important point this is like you are already taking an appointment from him to disturb him at that time and date which you have mentioned that is the permission he has given you that is the indirect way of taking his permission if you if you keep it open and you keep on randomly calling then he will not know what is happening okay so the next call should be timed and should be informed to the seafarer in advance that is very very important always ask for his friends reference this is the most important point you know the the difference between a good recruiter and a normal recruiter is this because you might have some websites where you are looking for cvs you can go to uh, social media linkedin but there are seafarers who are not there in social media who are not there in this recruiting cv websites okay those are the gems who are waiting to change company but they don't want to come into open because they know as soon as they put their cv there will be 100 calls coming to him so these are the hidden gems we need to find out so the only way we can find out is by reference because he talks to his friends and friends will he will tell the friends that i am looking for a change etc etc and if you call on the correct time to the correct friend he will be telling yes i have a friend who might be interested you can call him. it is not necessary that you will always get a reference but 
to please make it a point to ask for reference with every 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 call okay this is very very important and always thank him for his time because you have disturbed him and obviously with this call it is longer than what he expected okay usually a call from a shipping company is 2 to 3 minutes sir we have this vacancy you are available i am not available okay thank you sir that's it okay but this call is going to be really informative and a little longer for that matter okay so ensure you thank him for his time which he has spent with you what do you need to do after the call i think we will stop here we have taken uh, two topics we have seen the presentation stage and the closing of the call we will do the after the call what you should do in the next video thank you so much for your time and we shall see you in the next one